This little path that goes all the way down the side. So side access goes all the way down there. This path, which is obviously overgrown, goes all the way through to that other shed and that little celery bit. And as we go down, there's another terrace going off down there. But this garden is wide. It's, I'd say it's, it's as wide here. This is the narrowest point. It's as wide as our plot at 17 Waterside Lane is long. And it's amazing, we've got apple trees. We've got these extra sheds. They used to have chickens, so there's like a chicken coop and a chicken shed. It's still here. It's all, obviously, it's all fucked, but it's a starting point. This is a kiwi, this is a kiwi vine. Obviously, as you can see, it's, you know, it's like wide. Nice big greenhouse. Chicken coop, chicken coops in there. Another greenhouse frame as we go down here. So it's about five, five to six meters through there, and then that's the other boundary fence on the side. And then down the end here, more apple trees. And over there, there's like a little, like a little bench. This is getting down into the back corner, but this is a stream, and it's actually you can hear it in the garden. And just speaking to the guy, he says, "Highly unlikely we'll ever be able to build in this field in the stream as well." So just going back, um, so they've obviously had a bench set up down here. And I think this is this is going to be den barbecue area. Here we go. Stream. And there's this, there's, an, there's even another another greenhouse. And then you look up to the house now. These two properties, although they look like they overlook the garden, and they and technically they do, it really doesn't feel like they overlook the garden because it's there's so much scope for seclusion in here. So it's, um, this garden is fucking hoofing, like properly amazing. <laughs>